Okay, in this video, uh, we're going to add some events to our little bomb, and we're going to make the explosions happen when the little bomb is in contact with the face. And then every time the bomb is in contact with the face, an explosion happens, and we take one off the health of the face. And to help us, it's quite often a really good idea to put little notes into our event sheet. And I can do that by going right click, add comment. And so what I can do first of all is I can put a label in here saying setting up global and instant variable instance. And I can drag that up to the relevant part of my code. And then I'm going to uh, add another comment. Dropping the bomb and losing health. Good. OK, so now because uh, if I go back to my screen, because I want to take this bomb with got its behaviors, drag and drop. So it's going to drop down, but I need to then drag it over and drop it on the head. And then when it is in contact with the head, we want stuff to happen. So um, back to our event sheet. So anything that I do must involve talking about the little bomb. So let's add an event. So little bomb. When it is in um, collision with another object, which is here, and it's going to say, well, what is that other object? I will say the face. So when the little bomb is in collision with the face, I want a whole bunch of different things to happen. So let's um, click on add action, face, uh, set frame, to frame one, which is a sad face. Now, this isn't going to work very well because once the counter here is greater than five, it's going to keep resetting the face to zero. I'll demonstrate this. Once it gets to five, it will change. Now, when I drop the bomb, it will sort of flash, but it will go back because it's ticking through the system and it's realizing the face is still smiley. So what can I do here? Quite simple, I can change the value of my global number. So I can go add action, system, set value of a global variable, that's why it's a little green globe, and I'm gonna set the counter back to zero, but I'm gonna do that before I set the face animation so it won't keep changing and I can just move my code around by clicking and dragging it. Now let's check it out. We have a sad face. Now we wait for five seconds. I drop my bomb on it and he stays pretty miserable, of course, until the counter gets to five and I can reset that by dropping the bomb. So that works. Good. Okay. The next thing I want to do is I want an explosion to happen when I drop the bomb in the face. So I can do um, little bomb on collision with face. So I want the uh, face. Well, no, actually, let's have the little bomb. So when the little bomb lands on the face, I want it to spawn another object. So let's have a look down here. In MISC, we have spawn another object. And that object is going to be my small explosion because it's going to bounce on it five times and then explode because we need to count through the health of the, of the face. And his health is set to five in his instance variable. So let's go and find our little bang. On layer zero, that's right, and on image point zero. So we can have many image points, but we're just going to do it here. Let's see what happens. So spawn little bang. Now, this is quite important because we have to think of every little thing because we're dealing with a computer. So when I play this, 
you're going to find that we keep having explosions appearing and not going away. So that's not necessarily such a good idea. All right, so what we want to do is wait a certain amount of time and then actually remove the little bang off the stage, even though it's still there, but off screen. So add action. Oh, sorry, system. Wait. So I'm going to wait one second. System. Bang two and I'm going to destroy it. So let's look for the word destroy in MISC. So now that's got rid of my little bang. And the other thing I want to do is set counter to zero. So that's good, that's already done. And then I want to take one off the little face's health. So let's add an action. Uh, little face, subtract from the instance variable. You notice the instance variable is like a label. It's not a globe. So that's how you can tell the difference. So I'm going to subtract from health the value of one. Let's save this and test it. All right. So one, two, three. Yeah, health's run out. And he's a very unhappy and actually it's going down and down. That's fine. Now, this is a bit clunky because really I would love the bomb just to bounce on him. And at the moment it's a bit clunky because I've got to drag it and drop it. So let's see how we can, um, how we can do that in the next video.